hello friends welcome to helping testers so this is the 11 topic in a series of learning jmeter and if you want to learn the complete jmeter course so please enroll for a jmeter course for a course having more than 10 hours of advanced level training on jmeter so let's start for this session so in this session we will be uh, working with rest api testing with jmeter so jmeter we know is a performance testing tool we use it for generating load but it is also used for api testing so for rest api testing we know that there are various <coughs> let me make a new plan right so let me add a thread group here let me add a sampler here https sorry http request and you can find in a drop down that there you can apply various rest commands as well okay so let's let's find some api and try to execute it so let's work on the live websites so i'm taking an example of open weather map api i won't recommend it to use it uh, or you can just uh, watch this video and get an understanding if you're using this also please don't apply this load on this website it is unethical to apply load on sometimes some other website if you are applying a load make sure you're using your own website you are using your local website as we have taught in our uh, full integrated course uh, locally but don't apply load on some other websites there can be legal consequences if you are working with one or two load then it's okay but don't apply huge load it was just for telling purposes so you should keep remember right so for this is the uh, website which provides the live weather details so what uh, you will f you find the weather details on many websites so what this does they connect or get the fetch the data from this website or some other weather apis okay so create a uh, account yourself so i have created an account let me sign in why what's happening yep so you are already signed it okay so under the api if you click on api sorry yeah this sorry this api keys so when uh, you create your account you will be giving one api key a set of api key so by this api key you can integrate with these web services okay so you will find a number of apis here the api doc is available and and you can work on them uh, there are some post get request some port okay so you can just go in detail mostly there would be get because we are fetching data from this server so you will be getting mail when you register you will be getting this mail uh, some information that how you can use it's giving this this is the endpoint it's given an example that how you can apply a get request for finding the api uh, weather of a location that is london in uk and this app id the uh, app id is your key which we have seen here in a before that after login you will be provided with the api key so it is saying this is how you can fetch the data or the weather of a location this is a get request now let's use this only and develop a request a api request so yes we have this http request and we know the endpoint is this uh, this is the endpoint let's see if this website is http or https yes it is https okay so let's mention here https it's a get request so after the endpoint there it's a path till here only 
question mark in the get request means that after it we have some parameters so only the path is with the weather we will copy paste it in path so it's a get request and we have two parameters one is q and then it's equal to its values and app id is another parameter and its value so how we can add this parameter in a get request so there is a parameter column and you can click on add so what is the first value first value is q and what's its value let's copy it london uk let's add in another parameter that is app id okay and you will find the api key that is app id that is api key and you can enter it here let's put a listener that is view result tree let's save this file with rest api and let's execute you will find this api is executed yes you can see the api we have generated is same what which we have received in mail and we have received a response in which you can find the coordinates of the area and you will also find the forecast is that rain there can be a shower rain and the different it can be visibility would be this speed would be this so it has given a weather forecast so this is how you can generate the apis you can work with post request and other stuff now how you can do the testing so as this api is returning coordinates so you can apply the assertions for the api testing let me add an assertion here let's say response assertion and i say the text response has substring contains so if this contains then only my test case would be passed let's see i will add a assertion listener also so if it's fall it's finding why it has failed what assertion is failing so why is a uh, response assertion size there should be sorry i would not assertion i would be asking listener for the assertions okay and let's apply now so this was a second request let me clear this and again save this and run this yep so it has passed uh, you can see assertion request pass now if i let me intentionally fail this in the response assertion let me give it coordinate one it would fail the reason is that in the assertion we are getting only coordinate not coordinate one so the test case would fail save this and run this you will see the test case has failed and though we have got the response but still the test case has failed because the assertion is failing see it's saying that you are getting coordinate one so you can make similar type of test cases scenarios a different thread group and you can test your apis are getting a diff, uh, correct result or not okay so let's see so it is uh, in our we have seen that how we can add a public api and how we, we can see api key we have told how you can create an http request okay a response data also how you can apply the assertions okay so this is how you can do the api testing so you can make it as scenario one you can make different test cases you can 
make a test suit for each API and you can do the API testing. So that's all. Uh, if you want to go for all these scenarios, how we can apply different types of requests, then please subscribe to our complete JMeter course. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video from Helping Testers.